Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish and I'm coming at you from my winter wonderland backyard. Well, as you can see, we finally got some snow in Virginia. Yay, it's about time. Uh, we don't get, we used to get snow a lot and then we had didn't for a long time, but we've got some today, which is making things very exciting. Uh, and uh, I was due to film today, so guess what? I'm doing my first ever uh, snow um, cooking outside, so very exciting. Uh, with an uh, upcoming sports event uh, coming, um, my choice of recipes is uh, of definitely appropriate. And uh, also for the weather, because it's cold and I'm looking forward to warming up uh, with it in just a little bit. So today I'm going to be bringing you uh, a beer cheese soup with sausage and potatoes. Let's get started. So we knew the snow was coming yesterday, so in anticipation, we actually loaded our fire pit with wood to A, keep it dry, and B, make this uh, a lot quicker process today. Um, we also have some dry wood in a cooler because, uh, yeah, we, we, we may do with what we had. So getting this far, um, fire started, and hopefully it's gonna be very warm soon. And just like that, there was fire. All right, so um, I've got my Dutch oven over top of the fire and we're going to add first some turkey sausage and cook that up. Got a little bit of um, oil and butter. Um, just for flavoring. We kind of added that a little bit too, but eh, we'll deal with it, right? So here is that sausage. I'm just gonna let this cook up, break it apart, cook it up. And then once it's done cooking, I'm gonna remove it from the heat. All right, so the recipe actually calls for us removing the sausage, but I'm not, I'm just adding the vegetables. So I have uh, <laughs> snow-filled uh, carrots, onions, and um, celery that I've diced. No. Creepy, creepy, creepy. <laughs> there we go. So we're gonna let that um, cook up, soften some, and uh, then we'll add some spices. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some seasoning. This is um, oregano, thyme, ooh, and some salt. And we're gonna stir that in there. I'm gonna let it cook. We're gonna stir and let it cook for about a minute. You can add some garlic right now uh, if you wanted to. I couldn't find my garlic, so you know, go with what you got. All right, now um, I'm gonna add some flour. I'm just gonna... Hey, mate, please, do you mind stirring that? I wanna see. I just wanna get a good coating of flour. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Keep on getting smoke in our eyeballs. That was flame. Oh, flame. <laughs> Flame's not good. Let me add a little bit more. This container holds about three tablespoons of flour. You have to just play it by ear uh, with what you have available. This is just helps the flour will just help thicken up the soup in just a little bit. You want to let that cook for about a minute. That way it cooks off that flour um, taste. All right, so now I'm going to add um, the potatoes. And I did not peel them, obviously. Uh, potatoes and chicken broth. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> Told you, flame. Flame, that was flame. Okay. 
And last but not least, the beer. And stir that up. And then we're gonna let it cook until those potatoes start getting soft. We're gonna cover it as well, I think. I'll make it cook faster. So the potatoes are now tender. I mean, squeeze if you take one of those potatoes to the side and try to break it in half. We'll just show. Hard to see in the smoke. <laughs> well, you can kind of see where it's smashing, so that's good. Um, so now it's actually time to um, hold this for a second, please, squeeze. up just so it becomes a little bit of a thicker stew if you are uh, again this these most of my um, recipes are very versatile so if you're doing this on your stove top you can use like an immersion blender or a potato smasher like I am just to smash a little bit it doesn't you still want it kind of chunky but um, to get them a little, a little smash. Okay, and now I'm gonna add about a cup, give or take, of, um, you can do heavy cream, this is half and half, because this is what I actually had in, in on hand. And while main squeeze is stirring, I'm gonna slowly add the um, shredded cheddar cheese and <laughs> that's snow covered it's really cold so I did remove uh, I did take off the um, hot from the direct heat so if you're doing this at home I would take it totally off the heat um, on the stove top I mean to add in the cream and the cheese Is this snow cheese? It's snow cheese. It's very cold. No, I mean, it's snow cheese. It's snow cheese. Yeah. We had to keep our hands out of it. Um, we're supposed to do about eight ounces of shredded cheddar. It's not quite eight ounces. No. There's something about fresh shredded sharp cheddar cheese that's just amazing. That's right. And if you want to use a good quality cheese, um, just like oh. a good quality beer, it helps make it helps add that flavor profile to your soup but honestly this is not a good quality cheese it's a fine quality cheese and I just use whatever beer I had in my fridge because I don't buy beer very often <laughs> only on occasion so now um, we're gonna actually put the top right back on and just let it cook a little bit 
and um, just to meld it a little bit more. And uh, we're almost done. I'm actually in my inside oven. I've got some rolls cooking, so I'm gonna go put them in, or I will have rolls cooking, put them in, and once those rolls are done, our meal will be ready to eat. All right, since Main Squeeze was such an awesome help, he's getting some hot chocolate. Whipped cream or marshmallows? Whipped cream. And me, I don't get any. <laughs> There's that. Why don't you right. get any? We can share. I didn't. I did. I forgot to bring it out, uh, or I didn't make any to bring out. All right. So let's take a peek at this soup. Ugh, if I can reach. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> What's funny is I went inside and my oldest daughter i'm like did you already eat lunch and she's like yeah and i'm like i just made soup and she's like what i was like ha, ha, ha. she'll be totally tearing into this very soon though you okay spilt all right got so distracted. you got distracted here is some of that bread but main squeeze does not have a hand to help me out here <laughs> I know. Well, um, just put it also. You know what? We could put it right here. And this, uh, maybe I melted a little bit of garlic butter. And spoon, spoon. Let's ladle this up. And I'm going to try not to burn myself. Actually, yes. Thank you, Main Squeeze. <laughs> I had it like perched between my knees. <laughs> McDonald's coffee. Yeah, that's that. right. Probably not a good idea. That smells heavenly. I know. I'm just gonna fill it up that much for the moment. And let me put this here, and I'll get first impressions. It smells really good. All right. Oops, I made a mess. Mm, mm. Oh wow, that's already really good. All right, so let me get a taste. As you can see, the snow is still falling. Ooh. A little longer, blow longer. <laughs> it's hot. Oh wow. That is really good. If you're afraid of like uh, the beer being overpowering, I use a light beer and it's totally not overpowering at all. Main Squeeze will be the the judge though. He does not, he doesn't do any type of alcohol. So he's very sensitive. He doesn't, he just doesn't like the taste of it. So it'll be interesting to see what he thinks. Your beer mm. bread was good, so I'm hoping this is... Uh, That's true. I should good. post a link in the description to my beer bread that I did in the Dutch oven. Mm. That was really ex excellent. I need to do that again. Okay. Did you want a bite? Yeah, I'll take a bite. Look at that. Close up. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Mm. Scare small children. <laughs> you do look a little rough. You look like a grizzly man. Mm, it's good. I can taste a small hint of the beer, but it's not bad at all. Yeah, it's really tasty. Look at that. Mm. Mm. That's good. It's good. Here, get a little piece of that bread. Now, dip it in it. Yeti mugs are really good for keeping your drinks hot, <laughs> but they're so well insulated that they don't keep your hands warm. That's true. So there's no heat coming from the Yeti mug, but the inside will be nice and hot. Yeah. But so, Yum. you know, you, you got your pluses and your minuses. That's yes, right. All right, y'all. Um, did you want to try a piece of the bread in it? I'm um, sure. You got like soot all over you. You were definitely working in the fire today. Well, you live. Well, it's from the stuff. Yeah. I get dirty just for you, sweetie. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> Here, hold that. Actually, since you're That's being slow. Gross. I'm just getting dirty for you. I know. I get you're dirty not so you don't have to. 
You aren't afraid to get dirty by any means. Let's see. I take just a little bit of this bread and you can just, this is just a dinner roll. I'm just gonna dip it, melted a little bit of garlic herb butter. Let me squeeze his leg. Sorry, I'm not showing you, I'm showing your stuff. Sorry, I didn't move it. Mm, that's good. I'm gonna put a little bit. You didn't hire a professional cameraman over here. No. I don't pay you enough. Oh my gosh. That's good. If I had a, like a bread bowl and this in it. Ooh, I should make my beer bread and use that as a bowl. That would be, I need another Dutch oven then. Hint. Beer bread with beer, Hint. beer soup, whatever this is. Beer cheddar, Bitter. sausage, potato soup. Beer cheddar, sausage, potato soup, and drink a beer while you're at it. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then get Maybe sponsored. I'm, I'm get sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have well, a problem, honey. Yeah. Say No. We're having beer bread, beer soup, and beer with it. That might be a problem. Maybe. But delicious problem oh, yeah. in my opinion mm -hmm. all right so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up hit that bell subscribe to my channel so you get notifications uh when i post my weekly video um the next one's coming up next saturday all right hope you guys have a good one bye